time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive go. Ah, little baby. Tico, tico. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Do you want to try some peanut butter? I have a new one I need to open because I had to throw away all my other ones because of salmonella. Let's put a little on your nanner. Here, you go like this. He's ready. And then you, you take right. You kind of missed. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's put it away. Hmm. All right, can you put it right here? Here it goes right. There we go. That's where the peanut butter goes. All done. Do you want to close it? Good job. Yay. All right, let's wipe your mouth. Do you want water? Mm. <coughs> Thirsty boy. <laughs> All right, time to get down. Let's get down. Yay, all done. Ago. I think it was like 12.30 um, that I put him down and he went to sleep like pretty much right away so that was good. Um, I have the little like monitor thing and I have my vacuum like my little vacuum robot going in the house. Um, I'm probably going to do like a quick like Swiffer or mop when that's done. I am going to be watching my premiere at one o'clock. I changed it because Remy's nap is usually like 12.30, 12.45 until like three or so. Um, so I wanted to like have my premiere while he was already like, a, like napping obviously. I'm going to work on editing because I did not get to edit yesterday between the wine festival and no power and then um, with Remy and everyone coming. So I'm going to edit, um, I think I have two videos to edit. Yeah, I have two videos to edit because I have the one where I first lost power and then yesterday's. So I'm gonna work on those while Remy is napping and then I'll be caught up so that way like tomorrow I will only have to edit 
one video and I can do it like when Remy's napping as well. For today, I don't think we're gonna be doing anything um, super crazy the rest of the day. That way it's just kind of like getting acclimated with Remy and his schedule. He ate really well for lunch, which was really good. He really liked the sausage and of course he loves strawberries. I gotta figure out what I'm making for dinner actually tonight. Alvin's not home. Alvin actually comes home tomorrow morning, um, but I wanna make something for dinner because I don't really have anything to eat that's like made at the moment. But then tomorrow morning, I would love to do the bike with Remy and like put him on the bike and see how that works. And then um, I do wanna take him to the library in the morning before like lunch and nap time. Then tomorrow afternoon after his nap is when we're finally going to get into the pool and Alvin will be home by that time. And my brother, I think is gonna come over and like hang out in the pool with us and stuff. So that should be really fun. And I have like some bath toys that I think Remy will like in the pool. He does really like walks and stuff. And so they did bring like the little stroller um, and so I could always take like a walk with him. So we'll have to see like what he is in the mood to do. Did you wake up from nap time? What are you eating? Do you have some blueberry goat cheese toast and cottage cheese and oranges and olives? Are you, are you listening to the birds? Do you hear the lawnmower? Oh, that's a birdie. Oh, do you hear the birdie? Is it, where is it? I'm gonna eat you, boop. I'm gonna eat you, boop. No, okay. Mm. What? what, what's out there? What's out there? Is Graham looking out there too? All right, let's go upstairs. Let's find something to wear so we can go on the bike. Keep going. Good job. You see yourself? What do we have? Oh, where are you going? Oh, oh my good God. job. Let's go on the bike now. You wanna go on the bike? Yeah? Get my sockies. Yeah, I gotta get my sockies. Do you want a hat? Do you want your hat? Yeah? Okay, let's go outside. We gotta leave this in here. Gotta leave this in here. All right, should we get on the bike? Yeah? You wanna go on the bike? We gotta get our helmets on. Okay. Look, Jackie, look, Jackie has her helmet. You gotta put your helmet on, okay? So Remy and I took a quick little bike ride and now he is gonna start cooking for dinner, right? What are you making? You're making dinner, right? Yeah? Whip something up real fast, how about ya? All right, while he is making dinner, I am going to pick my TBR. I really wanna participate in the Suns Out, Bun or Suns Out Books Out uh, readathon, which is hosted by Libs Library and Lauren Love Reads and I think a few other people. Um, so I'll link their announcement video down below so that way you can check it out. But it's from June 20th through the 26th. All right, so we're gonna talk about, there are a couple different prompts. So let's pick a TBR for the Suns Out, Buns Out. Does that sound good? First one is read a book with yellow on the cover. So we have some options here. Um, Felix Ever After, that has yellow on the cover. That might be a good contender. Blood Sugar also has yellow on the cover. Um, what else do we have? This, A Day Like This, there's a yellow house. You see the house? Um, we also have, like, I don't know, is this, this is probably orange, that's probably not yellow. 
Um, I think we're just gonna go with Felix Ever After because I could probably listen to the audiobook and um, that would probably be like a fast read because it's young adult. Read a chiller, which is a chill thriller. I was talking to my friends about this and we were thinking that a chill thriller is kind of like, maybe like a domestic thriller. You wanna get down? Domestic thriller or um, like something like Kirsten Modulin. So I do have some Kirsten Modulin. And I think the one that sounds really good is The Dinner Guests. That one sounds really good. I also have The Good Neighbors. And I have The Perfect Getaway. I feel like I'm gonna pick The Dinner Guests. I feel like that sounds good. Because it's about like six friends, they all get together at this dinner and then like they can't escape or something like that. It says to read a book with an island, ocean, or beach setting. And I was gonna wait to read some of these books until I'm at the beach, but part of this readathon is going to be while I'm at the beach. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my books ready for my beach TBR. So that's gonna be on the island. I'm definitely bringing this to the beach. So that could be a contender for this readathon. I also am going to be reading Wish You Were Here at the beach. So that could also work because they're on an island for this. And the other one I wanted to do was Every Summer After um, because this is also like a beach setting. <laughs> he has um, my little, uh, they're little bottles. They're uh, food coloring bottles, but they're not open yet. I just got them for the wedding. <laughs> and he's playing with the Pyrex dishes. Okay, and then it says, Read a book chosen by a friend and read a book while on a picnic. I'm not sure if I can do the picnic one, I'll have to see, but read a book chosen by a friend. I'm gonna have to get back with you on because I think I'm just gonna take a picture of my shelves. If I have Lena pick, she's probably gonna pick Escape, so maybe I should just read Escape because I know that she's gonna want me to read this. <sighs> this definitely isn't enough though. I'm gonna be bringing way more to the beach. Like I think I'm gonna bring 10 books to the beach. I think I'm just gonna wait though till the last minute to figure out what I've read already and what I really wanna bring because I wanna have like a good array of different things. You wanna come up here and help cook? All right, here, you can sit right here, okay? Come on. Yep, we're gonna make meatballs. Mmm. Put them in there. Yep. Uh-oh, whoops. Yep, we're gonna put onion in here. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna have to chop these up. Oh, yum. Is it good? Thank you. Uh, Show you? Watch, Remy. <gasps> Whoa. You wanna do it? Here, you wanna do it? Here we go, hold it. Hold it, ready? Whoa. Here, hold it. Hold it. Now watch. <gasps> you see it? Watch. Good job. Yep, you wanna do it? Good job. All right, let's stir it. Put some more cheese in. Cheese? Oh, did you hear that? Is that the oven? Woo! Dump our meat in and then we're gonna roll it out. You put them on your hands. You want it on your hand? Okay, okay. Now we gotta stir it up. Meatballs? He's fascinated with putting the pods in and out of the box. What you doing? Are you putting them in there? Yeah. Good job. Yay, good job. Uh-oh. Did it fall down? Good job. Yay! 
Yay! Woo! Yay! All right, Remy's dinner is all ready. We have some pesto pasta, roasted carrots, and some meatballs with some sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and, you wanna eat? Are you ready to eat? Do you like Graham's leash? Yeah? Let's go sit down, let's go eat. Okay, for my meal, I'm just having a bunch of meatballs with the Rowles marinara, which I love the Rowles brand sauce. And they're like normally very like low carb compared to other sauces. They are expensive though. Um, and then I'm just having some roasted carrots. They're not super like low carb, but I'm not having that many. And so I'm not gonna let them go to waste. So this is my dinner. Okay, these turtles I got on Amazon and they are so worth it. You just wind them up. <laughs> Do you like them? Okay, I just finished my second video of the day, editing it. It has an hour and nine minutes left. My lamp doesn't really give great lighting for video footage. It is really nice lighting, like for reading, because it's like literally above me, and I do really like that. So I had asked on Patreon what books they thought that I should like definitely bring to the beach. Sorry, this is bad lighting. And so I'm gonna look and see because, you know, I'm getting my books together. They actually said like a lot of the same ones that I was really interested in reading, like I was contemplating on being, on like reading. Other ones that I think I'm going to bring to the beach are Handle with Care. That means I'm gonna have two Jodies at the beach. That might be too much, but we'll see. Bring Hidden Pictures. I'm also going to bring just like mother, I'm going to bring The Family Next Door. Really excited about this because it's true crime. I'm gonna bring uh, The Things We Do in the Dark because this is an arc that's gonna come out in July. Um, and so I need to actually like probably read it now. And I think The Beach would be a good time to read that. I feel like I need, oh, I'm probably gonna definitely bring Fly Girl and I feel like I need like a romance or something. I think maybe I should bring um, a day like this because it is like a romance and like time travel. Honestly, I think I want to switch out the Jodi Picot, but I actually want to switch it out for Spark of Light because I'm really excited to read Spark of Light. And then I feel like I should bring like one more true crime-ish one. I was gonna bring Diane Chamberlain. So I'll bring Diane Chamberlain and then I'm gonna bring Secrets in the Cellar because this is a really tiny one. That's 12, but it's okay. At least I have choices, right? I actually um, took a quick shower and put pajamas on and then I decided to start reading some of Felix Ever After and I think I got to 15% because I was listening to the audiobook, but I actually am like falling asleep. I'm gonna go to bed because it's 11.22 and I think Remy wakes up at like 8 a.m. So I need to make sure that I like get sleep and then I wake up when he wakes up. I don't really feel like I read enough of this to even really know like much to tell you about, um, but it definitely is a young adult book. I don't see myself like absolutely loving it at the end just because obviously there's always the immature like lack of communication type things same old same old that happens in young adult books but this is about felix and he is black queer and transgender so figured this was a good one to pick up for um pride month and i Definitely will be learning some things in here. Um, so I'm glad that I am reading it even though it is young adult. So I'm gonna head to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm gonna wake up, take Remy to the library, which I think is gonna be really fun. And maybe we'll even find something for us at the library. Mm -hmm.